Hi. So I'm, I'm reading emails and I have a lot of people saying that they keep asking people and beings for help to be pulled out of body, but they have no results. So how do you get there? Or can I help you? You know, that's the thing. And here's the thing. It doesn't really matter who you ask for help. You know, whether it is your spirit guides, the alternate race I've made videos about, someone you know from your past lives, beings, you know, like any other person that can get out of body and pull people out of body. It doesn't really matter. When you ask to be pulled out of body, you're giving the allowance. And a lot of times people get out of body, but they don't remember the experience. They don't have visuals. They don't have memory. They wake up. They wear out. You probably were out of body, but there's zero memory. And the way to go about it is that if you want to get out of body and you want to get help, first, you need to put some work yourself. That starts with, hey, what can I do to remember my dreams? Just go to the basics because people, it doesn't matter if you want to become psychic, if you want to learn how to remote view, how to recall your past lives, how to do anything in life, you start you start from the very, very basics and then learn the precious, wonderful techniques and skills and things. It's like learning into, like going into martial arts or learning programming. You don't just go and write up a whole game and, you know, whoa, look at me, look what I designed. You are, you're like a web developer and all this stuff, but you start from a simple code. Martial arts, you start from the basic little stance. This is how you do things. And, you know, tying your belt and everything else. It starts from the basics. Most people forget that. They try to bypass that and just think that, hey, if I just ask for it, I'm going to get a super awesome technique. I'm going to get help. And here it is. I'm out. Yay, buyer for whatever you want to do. And if you bypass it, you're going to see no results because you're in the same circle of you don't have skills, you don't have things, and you will not get what you want. Some people who ask for help to be pulled out of body at night, they might feel like someone's grabbing your feet, someone's grabbing your hand, and it scares the hell out of you. A lot of people have been actually pulled out of body, and when the beings come, they start pulling you softly, and it just feels so fucking creepy, and people can't handle it. So they get scared, stressed, they wake up, and like, oh my god, uh, shake off this weird entity. But it was actually good guys trying to get you out. And so... You need to learn to confront such things. But then again, this is like a variation if you already have the experience of you ask for help and here's what happened. You kind of got scared. But going back to basics, first recalling dreams is writing down every single detail. The whole dream journal. Like, it's not for you to look at your awesome stories and experiences. You know, like, cool. If you enjoy that, that's really good. But it's the details. When you dream and you focus on writing down what you have dreamed about. You will start paying attention in dreams. You will start becoming more aware, awake, and lucid when you are dreaming. This will help you to pay more attention, see more details, become more present over there. And so no longer you wake up with wake memory of, you wake up and oh, I dream about something, but you move, you get out of your bed, you roll over, you go to pee or whatever, and the dream memory is gone. Yeah, I dreamed of something, don't remember what, but is that very beginning. You wake up and you remember your dream. And you just have to write it down. And of course it takes practice. A lot of people don't want to get up at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning to just write down some weird ass experience that doesn't have any significance in their life. But if you want some results, you have to do it. Again, this is just one of the techniques. Wake back up and go to sleep. So literally, in the middle of the night, you have the cycles of your sleep. And at moments, you're going to wake up and you're just going to roll over. Well, you'd have to practice yourself. Either use the alarm clock to wake yourselves during, like, you know, like you have the REM-like cycles. And so you would like, okay, cycle is done. You wake up, you get up and literally get up out of the bed. Oh, the bed is so comfy, it's warm, it's relaxing. You were exhausted, you want to sleep, you want to relax. You don't want to fucking go anywhere on a massive war, experience something, you want to sleep. So if that's your beliefs, if you want the comfort zone, if you want to relax, 
no way are you gonna, gonna get out of body or want to remember anything you've experienced because hey you go to sleep you go to relax not to go explore some fucking world out there and you have to put your priorities first do you want to get out yeah do you want to put some work in it not really well then look at the results it's like wanting a million but not doing shit for it you know either work your ass off that would be great or you buy a lottery ticket that's putting some effort in it or doing whatever that can get you there but it's possible and it's all up to you what you're going to do about it that being said waking up in the middle of the night you don't necessarily just have to write down the dream journals but even like okay you wake up, go to pee, go drink some water, touch things around, like touch your wall, be awake for 10, 15 minutes, go back to bed, and you will fall asleep. But this helps you to become more awake, more present, pay attention. This gets your consciousness going again. And when you fall asleep, you will become more aware, more present. And literally, you have to put in the effort every day, just a little bit of work. You don't have to work for hours and hours. Now, for me, there's one little trick and people who have visuals will have a massive advantage sadly <laughs> you know like it's not like you've chosen one but if you have visuals you have a really good advantage so literally if you can think of an apple as if you're holding it in your hand how clear is it for you how well do you see it describe it for me is it like red green red and green how big is it how heavy is it? Can you bite it? And can you feel the taste? Is it sour? Is it sweet? How juicy is it? And literally, the more realistic it is to you, you can get out of body like that. And the magic is, everything you see is your imagination and your creation. Everything you imagine is what you create. And this is what real is. And again, it's just in my definition, this is how I understand it. And I can be completely wrong and you can say that it's all bullshit and this is the way it is and that's okay. But here's how I do it. If you can see an apple and you would describe your visuals at least at five, you can see decently, the image doesn't just disappear like one second is there, the other second is gone. You can at least look at it, maybe spin it around, maybe see some details and just focus on it for a while. If you have that, then you have a great advantage. And by that is, okay, if you want to get out of body, you don't necessarily have to fall asleep, do tons of techniques, and your physical body is asleep, and you're going to raise your freaking consciousness and look at your physical body, look around, and then lift yourself up and go somewhere. You don't have to do that stuff. What you do is think of a place that you want to be at. Think of a place that you could visualize really, really well, something that would make it very enjoyable. And so... It could be a classroom, for example. Classroom, and you look around and like, how many desks are there? Is there a chalkboard? Is there a teacher? Is there a chalk? And so books and stuff like that, maybe Apple, maybe ruler, and you look around, or maybe you don't like Rasmus. Maybe you don't like school at all. And you're like, hey, well, I like nature. Great forest, a lot of greens. The evergreen trees and nice grass, fresh air, closer to the mountains and everything else, the river. And it can just go on and on. But literally what you have to do is you have to relax, close your eyes, if that's how it is better for you to visualize or eyes open. But as you visualize, you have the image over there. And the more of yourself you can put in there, as in not just creating the visuals in there, not just creating the imagery, but at the same time, see if your point of view can change. Look around, go 360, up and down. Focus on the very detail. See if you can sort of crouch and touch the ground. Is it wet? Is it dry? How does it feel? And literally with your visuals, you practice being in that place. And if you can just focus on details, if you see a horse, if you see a dog, like literally walk up to that being and pet them, touch them, like the, the, the details. If you can get yourself there, you're out of body. You just shifted your consciousness. You're there. So with your visuals, if you just think of any possible place, like maybe a spaceship, 
maybe a specific location on earth, like your favorite lake, your favorite movie, like fear, a mall, whatever. You just focus on those details and you just go in and you walk around and you explore, but you're out there. Your consciousness is out there. You don't have to have your physical body fall asleep and literally look at yourself and, hey, I'm out of body. You don't need that stuff. You think of a place, you visualize it, you're there. And the longer you can maintain yourself in that place, then that's how long you spend yourself out of body. That's how long you have been consciousness shifting. And this is how I do my work. If I focus on you and recalling your past lives, I close my eyes, focus on who you are, your beingness. I look at your Akashic records. And for me, you know, it can be like a library. One book is like your whole lifetime. One frame in a movie reel is like your whole lifetime. And I can click on that, get in there and watch everything from the beginning until the end. And literally, every one of you can do it. You can get out of body by that. And literally, again, you have to put in the work. Because if you just want to get out, but you don't want to do anything about it, you're not going to get results. At least if you don't want to put in the work, but you want to get out, get some supplements. You know, like Lucidesc, melatonin, you know, like try to eat some oranges and change your diet a little bit, some variations. That would be a good start. But again, you have to put in some work. Because otherwise, you know, you are getting out of body, but you don't remember it. You don't see visuals. And we have to work on those parts. We have to work on our memory by practicing little things. Visuals, you know, same thing. It's a muscle. Everyone can do this. You're not special. You're not the chosen one. You're not the, oh my God, a freaking star seed from another planet that can do everything. It doesn't matter who you are. You can do it all. You can get your visuals. You can have your psychic abilities. You can remember your past lives. You can do everything you want, but you have to work it. It's a muscle. You have to train yourself. You have to practice. And that's the only way to get there. So that's my little thing. You know, people write to me, hey, I asked for help and nothing happened. What the fuck? Have you put in any work? If not, well, that's your result. Me asking someone to get you out of body, they will. They will do it, but will you remember the experience? Will you have any visuals? If not, then that's the other thing you have to work on. You can be getting out of body all the time, but if you don't have visuals or memory, work on that. That being said, thank you for watching. I'm sorry if I disappointed you, but that is the story. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.